Hello there, this is Mike Kaufman, and in this short tutorial, I'm gonna go over how to set up your language settings and set up languages for your keyboard on your MacBook. This is gonna make your life a lot easier for when you're typing in Spanish that you don't have to go through many steps to switch the keyboard from an English keyboard to a Spanish keyboard, which again will make it so much easier to add in those accentos and so forth. Now, before we get into it, our fun fact, is it is believed that there are 6,909 spoken languages in the world today. Ooh, that's a lot. My question for you is how many language settings does your MacBook have? And the source that I found this information was from linguisticsociety.org. All right, let's get going here. So the first thing you wanna do is you're gonna go up to your system preferences, uh, which in this case is in my doc. I'm gonna click open there. I'm going to take a look first at language, which is right up there where it says language and region. Now my preferred language setting is English. My region is set up to Mexico and so forth. So I'm going to leave that all right there. Um, you can notice that if you're a time person that runs on 24 hours, you can click on that. I'm not, so I'm going to leave that blank. Now we want to add in another preferred language. I'm going to simply click on that plus button. And I'm going to get a list that's going to pop up. And I could scroll down and look for the language that I'm trying to find, but I can also type or hit my S. And it's going to bring me right over to uh, Espanol, and I'm going to choose uh, right there for Mexico to make my life easier. And I'm going to click on Add. All right. Now, what is my primary language? I'm going to keep it at English because that's what I'm more comfortable in. But if you say to yourself, maybe I want to uh, have Spanish, you can click that as well. Now all I need to do now is, it's gonna automatically prompt me to change my keyboard, but I'm not gonna do that now because I'm gonna show you another way to do it. Now to switch between languages, I can simply click English or Spanish. Now, I can get to my keyboard preferences right there, but I can also get it from my main system preferences menu. I'm gonna click on keyboard. There's a couple things here that are gonna come up uh, that are gonna be helpful for me. One thing that I'm gonna start off with was the import, input search sources, excuse me. And right now I have just an English ABC keyboard, but again, I wanna add in a Spanish keyboard there. So notice again, I can scroll through and find it, but I'm gonna to go to my search and start typing in Spanish. I have two options here. We're gonna choose the Spanish ISO, all right? And you'll notice that's what the keyboard's going to look like. And I'm gonna click add. And now I have two options, my ABC English keyboard and I can switch over to Spanish. Now it's really important here, I wanna make sure that show input menu and menu bar is clicked on and I wanna make sure that automatically switch to a document's input source. What that is gonna do is it's going to allow the computer to make a decision and automatically set up your keyboard based on um, what the program was already using. So for example, if you are typing a Spanish essay on Microsoft Word, it will automatically open up your Spanish keyboard um, when you open up that document. Now I'm gonna go back to the keyboard over here. And one other thing that I definitely want to make sure it's clicked on is show keyboard and emoji viewers in menu bar. And I'll show you why that's gonna be helpful. Up top now you'll notice right next to the time and day is my language setting. All I need to do is click on it. Right now again, it's default to just our ABC English. But if I wanna switch to Spanish, that's all I need to do. Now for me though, I definitely need to know what button is what, right? So I go back to that button and I'm gonna say show keyboard viewer. And now it's gonna pop up, it's gonna show me where my accents are, how to type on Enye, and some of the other symbols that I'm gonna find useful for my Spanish typing. All right, so that is it. Let me get that keyboard out of the way. Um, that is it on how to switch your keyboard and language settings. Good luck, and I hope this uh, video is helpful to you and that it makes your life a little bit easier switching back and forth from English to Spanish.